Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this wonderful news program. I know it's been a while. Apology accepted. And now we have Mr. Justin Overstreet with the dress code. This year the school is cracking down on the dress code. The faculty is sending students to change if they are out of code. Well, the, some of the clothes aren't acceptable just because it distracts them. A positive classroom environment. Do you want to... What clothes do you think are acceptable to wear? Uh, clothes that fit you good without holes in them. Some students believe the dress code is unfair. Do you think the dress code is fair, and if so, why? No, because teachers get to wear low-cut shirts, and we get called out for that, so I don't think it's fair. Others believe that the dress code is fair, saying that if you wear clothes appropriate for school, then you shouldn't have to worry about the code. Do you think the dress code is fair? I think it's fair if I'm going to the full rules. It's not that hard to follow. I just think that it's fair to have a dress code. It makes sense to me. <laughs> I'm just now straight reporting for nighttime news. Thank you so much, Justin, for that wonderful story. Now I'm going to be talking about junk in the trunk. I, I know what you're thinking. It ain't that kind of junk in the trunk. It's about your back satchel. As you can tell, boys and girls, a lot of students have a book bag similar to this one. What do they think? It's like the pregnant book satchel. All right, this book bag right here can see the Titanic. Ain't no lie. But, so I did some research on this to uh, come up with a way to avoid heavy book bag. And you know what they say? They say book bags such as these cause spinal problems. So I said, what can we do to fix this problem? Well, one of them would be is um, use your locker. You know, I know it's kind of hard to go to class, but when you can, I would. And uh, also is your straps right here. Adjust them to the appropriate length because that has a major Row and protecting your back because you don't want them too far down because it'll be pulling on your shoulders and you'll get them out of out balance. But that's just some ways that you can correct your back and spinal cord for uh, future schooling. That was a great story on my part. You can thank me later when you see me in the hallway. And now we have Justin Overstreet with a look at you. I said look at you, not pick a boo. Friday, August 23rd, Justin Lukadu came to our school to speak with the students. His motivational speech was centered around following your dreams. He told the students to follow your dreams and to never give up on you. He also spoke about focusing on the school to be able to follow your dreams. Hopefully, his speech has motivated students to do well in school and keep striving for their goals in life. I'm just now straight reporting for nighttime news. Thank you so much, Justin, for Lukadu, Peekaboo, and uh, make sure you turn in Tune in, not turn. Well, you can turn, flip the channel, into our next nighttime news, which will be very soon. Wee wee. Get the combination in, you'd open it. So for I don't know the combination for this one or my own. Why did you move, Alex? <laughs> this year, this. Oh God. Keep going, Alex.